Free Smiles, episode 250. All right, we are back at it again, guys. Another episode on our free to play series. And what do we have going on here? <gasps> oh, I need to buy that, guys. I need to buy that. So that is definitely someone that I want to six star at some point, my Arbiter. And like, honestly, I, oh, I actually did buy a bunch of stuff with my Essence recently. And I was just taking a look at what do I have available that I would potentially need to invest into, right? So I didn't want to do it just yet. I wanted to show you guys. I did get uh, Tronda for four stars, which was 300, which is a lot, guys. Very, very expensive. And I'm going to go ahead and just awaken it now. Just, uh, you know, there you go. There you go. So now I would need an additional 400 of the Eternal Essence. Then I can six star her. And once she's six starred, oh my gosh, she's going to do insane damage to Hydra boss. And that's kind of where I wanted to focus on using her. But at some point, I will try to go for that. And I was trying to see what else I have that I could potentially just, you know, get up there. And it would definitely be Armons that I would want to invest into. Uh, my, yeah, my Queen Encore is another one that I would want to invest into. Uh, hmm. Nude is another one that I did want to, but I, it's not it's not necessary. I, I think I'd rather just focus more on like, yeah, I guess more core champions for like arena, I guess. I definitely do want to go for the Arbiter because I had it in my wishlist for a long time. I, I definitely do want to go for her. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy this, but I need to sell some stuff off because I don't have enough uh, to buy that just yet. So what do I? Oh, I can sell this, I guess, right? That should be enough. Oh, no, no, I have plenty. I have more than enough. So, boom. Yeah. So, I don't want to go ahead and uh, just pull the trigger on this yet because just in case, just in case, because they did mention they're going to do a, a Freya, right, for uh, the deck of fate, and you need soul stones for that. So, technically, I could have up to 10 or 11 or 12, 12 immortal soul stones, and that'll give me a bunch of points to flip a bunch of cards. And, I mean, if I have to... No, I probably wouldn't buy this. That's too expensive because I'd rather use it towards this, right? So I could, for now, I'll just go ahead and buy the Arbiter and we'll awaken her. Because the goal is to get her to six star at some point. That'd be huge. All right, let's go ahead and collect that too. And what other news is taking place right now? Oh, speaking of which, we do have a Thor Fusion, right? And it is actually the last day to complete this by fusing it. And guys, look at this. We have done it. We're just going to go ahead and do it right now. There it is. Thor, welcome to the squad. We got our very own Thor. There it is. Boom. Yeah, he's going to be a fun one for Hydra boss. Uh, he does hit pretty hard. And there is a uh, Thor... Um, I guess like you need points to collect to be able to get the uh, souls for Thor and it's up to five stars you can get, right? And it's called the Fehammer Titan event. And a lot of people were very upset about this event because there was no like warning or, you know, like any like mention of it that was going to take place uh, right afterward. And well, I guess like the one thing that really bothers most people is the fact that this takes place at the same time as uh, this, uh, the summon rush that just ended yesterday. Uh, I did not do any summoning for that. I know it was like a get one, get one legendary free with sacred shards, but I just, I didn't want to do it because I just, I was like three into pity and I figured if I were to go for it, then I probably was going to pop all my sacred shards because I wanted, I only wanted to do a couple, but I knew if I didn't get it within the couple, I would keep going and going and going until I get it. And I've seen myself go as far as like 20 sacred shards without getting a legendary, especially when it's not a 2x event. So I just, I didn't want to do it. I kind of wanted to just keep saving. That pretty much means I'm already like screwed if I want to try to go for five stars at any point. But I had the mindset of, I don't really want to go for this event that crazy. Like I rather just go for the two stars and that's it. If I get any further just by playing the game, that's great. But I don't want to like focus crazy on this event like that. Because these, uh, these Titan events are typically like another fusion event. And we literally just had a fusion event. So it's like, in a way, it's two fusions back to back, literally. And that's a lot of resource that I just, I didn't want to, I wasn't comfortable using because I am 100% free to play. So I don't know. I 
my thoughts on this uh this whole fate titan event i'm not i i can't really be surprised by anything that do at this point you know i kind of just accept it for what it is am i being stupid no i don't think so i'm just i just want to enjoy the game for like what i have available and i don't really want to get triggered by anything but i mean sometimes i might get really annoyed right but i've always considered like titan events as like uh it's like kind of like a cherry on top like if you're able to go for this event great you know congrats um just just play the game right just play the game as you normally would and whatever points you collect along the way and if you get a certain soul for it then congrats you know there you go it's a bonus on top that's kind of how i looked at it that's how i've always looked at it um nothing really more much more than that but i mean yeah i get the anger that people are feeling about like not getting any warnings about having this event um taking place at the same time as a summon rush which also included the uh the fragments you're able to use to get thor because if people knew that ahead of time that it was going to take place at the same time as this event then they would have considered maybe saving a, a couple extra sacred shares or something along those lines so i get that I, what i also understand is that people are upset that they don't really put out the event calendars like ahead of time anymore which is that that really is you know that sucks like i at this point we shouldn't be surprised by anything that's the bottom line guys <laughs> i mean yeah like i I know people will always say like, well, if you don't like the game, just don't, you know, don't play it. If you don't like, I, I, I think everybody enjoys the game. It's, I saw a recent video that Jake did. It's not, it's not the game that people don't like. It's the, the people that are behind the game, right? Playing them. So it's that, that is who everyone has a problem with. Not the game itself, because the game is fantastic. It's beautiful. Everyone enjoys the game. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about that. Yeah, let's see uh, what else is going on right now. So we do have a champ training event taking place that does involve the hammer points. I don't really have, like, I guess I could go for this. That's pretty easy. Or it may be even that. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to get the two stars at the very least. Because if you get two stars on your Thor, or any champion rather, then you're going to be able to get this, uh, this extra attack here, right? Which is huge. So that extra attack here is just going to be added on top and... That's amazing, right? So that's that's a big boost, right? That's a big bump. So, yeah. If you can, try to go for the two stars. All right, let's take a look at what rewards we got from the clan boss today. We got an anxious shard. Uh, pick book. Let me go ahead and hit this right away. I do have a Draco Morph that I thought about adding back in here. Or replacing my Gentoro. Because I do want to use my Draco Morph at some point, but... I don't know. I think I'm okay with the Gentoro here. Because with the Draco Morph, I know I can one key every time, but I'm already doing that with Gentoro, so why would I, you know, really change it up? Unless it's Red Affinity. That's where I get screwed on both. So it doesn't really matter if I change the Draco Morph. Alright, so we actually got like no Voice Shards or no Sacred Shards out of any of this, huh? Okay, well, that sucks. All right, so we did win our siege battle, guys. I love it. I love it. We won again. Oh, still calculating. Oh, so we don't get to see it? Dang. I wanted to click on this and then go and collect my rewards, but okay, whatever. So we did win five in a row. So now, if you take a look at my fragments here, we are currently at 31, and with the chest I can collect, I'll probably be at around 40. So we're almost halfway, guys. We're almost halfway to Lamasu as 100% free to play. And it's just awesome to be able to win every single week because the teams we are facing are very, very easy, right? So feeling blessed. All right, dragon attack, turn attack. Okay, so it's a bunch of these. All right, uh, I still want to focus on the Odin. And I think that ends pretty soon, right? Ends today. Yeah, I haven't really scraped much of this. I might actually dip into my gems to get to this uh, Immortal Soul Stone. Because I want to get to this anyways. And like, this is a dungeon that I don't mind like blowing my resource to go for. Because, I mean, I guess it's going to go away at some point, right? And they said they will bring it back. But it's, just, it's such a good dungeon to be farming right now. Because Pinpoint's really, really good. So, that's something I want to focus on. Alright. The one thing that I'm really, really happy about and to share with you guys. Is I finally... Got to Tag Team Arena 3, guys, or uh, Tier 3, Silver 3. 
I haven't been able to do this at all. And now my next goal is to get to silver four. This is actually something I'm focusing on this week. Like I really, really want to focus on getting to silver four finally, because I've been sitting on this mission for like so long, like so long, like I, I get this done and I can do the rest of this like easy. And then like, I'll be on my way to get a to you at some point. So I mean, I'm not close to getting gold four or anything like that. I don't even remember if there's like a, do you have to get to gold four for Tagarina? It's been so long since I've done this missions on my main account. I completed it like a long time ago. So is it like you just have to get it to gold one or do you actually have to go to gold four? Because if I had to go to gold four for Tagarina, like yikes, I that's not happening. <laughs> my account's not ready for that, you know? So hopefully it's just gold one that I have to get to and then everything else I could do no problem like pretty sure I could do no problem so that is something I'm focusing on right now I don't know if I showed you guys but I did build up my Ankara I also built up my Armands that I'm not sure if I showed you but man this guy is so so good like I always had my uh, Kaimar in my team to be able to like put them to sleep and whatnot but being able to just like take away their turn meters and then go again and then sleep someone that has stone skin like it's just so so good he's so good so this is like the best i could build him at the moment i know it's like nothing impressive but 301 speed uh 741 accuracy i built him with just enough speed so he can keep up with my arbiter who is currently sitting at uh 392 speed and yeah really really fun i try to build my ankara as well as fast as i could and this is pretty much like the best i could do with like you know just I don't know if I could, maybe I could build her faster, but my stone skin pieces are not like that great as far as speed goes. I try to go for like a lot of speed with like also stacking uh, HP if I can, right? And I, I guess I could ascend that too to hopefully get speed there. But it's just a general, like I don't really have the best speed on my Alcora, but I kind of like her where she is right now because she kind of cuts in after other people goes and then does her thing. So yeah, I don't know. I like her, but in Tag Arena, she's been so good for me really 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 good and i also built out my son wukong i redid him i don't think i showed you guys this either but right now he is sitting at uh 6 000 attack 273 crit damage and 202 speed i would like to get him faster if possible but he does have stone skin which is like the big thing that i really really want to focus on uh, because other people are going to go first so i could use him on certain teams to like you know specialty teams but he's so good man like yeah, Sun Wukong, Armands, like these are all free champions we got. Like Sun Wukong was a free daily login champion. And then the Armands was a fusion, I believe, back then, right? So, I mean, man, like these are some awesome, awesome champions they gave us to us like this past year. I think he was also part of 2024, right? Newt, Armands, two of the best fusions of 2024. And I think there were some other ones that I uh, forgot about. But yeah, I mean, it's been a really, 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 really good 2024 as far as champions that they gave us for fusions and like daily login he is a he was a fusion right i believe he was correct me if i'm wrong guys but yeah it's been really really cool to be able to build these champions and i did pull recently uh no i did get loki i got samson i i just haven't samson or samsonite samson <laughs> yeah samson samsonite is the uh the luggage right the the, the luggage company um but yeah so we did have loki i didn't build him yet i did get her off of the fragment summoning recently and of course you guys know about the ursuka that i just just keeps coming to me and every voice shards you know legendary that pops up i just don't know why she loves me so much but i guess it is what it is i don't know but that's pretty much the progression of my account right now and i guess i'll just go ahead and show you my uh, armands in battle here just so you can see what i mean so like i, j I just leave it to like auto my chunda is pretty strong my head pretty strong i just have thrill turn meters to go first and then I turned off the sheep for auto because I don't want to like make the like the, the fight longer than it needs to be. But sometimes I'll just cut in real quick and unpause it. If I see someone that has stone skin, because then I could use my armas to put them to uh, turn into sheep and then I could take care of the rest. So I probably should target here, but that's okay. Oh, okay. Swift Parry Arbiter. So I just noticed that there is a speed 3x taking place right now. So I think I'm going to halt on the Odin farming and just go straight to dragon farming for now. Oh, wait. But I but the Odin farming, it ends today, the dungeon. 
but and then there's a dragon event taking place too all right so i guess i could focus on the odin today and then tomorrow i could focus in focus on the dragon yeah that's what i'll do and i probably will have to dip into my gems a little bit but yeah that's okay and i definitely need to sort out through all this oh my gosh all right so as you see i have so many shards saved up uh at some point i will i don't know what i'm gonna do yet like i i'm just saving up my voice shards as much as possible for a, the next 2x event and my sacred shares, I still don't know what I want to do with it. Just keep saving. Definitely pop them for Taurus Fusions when there's a summon rush taking place. My ancient shards, I kind of was saving for like a guarantee summon at some point, but I don't think this is happening. We haven't got one in a really, really long time. And I just don't know if that's something that they binned, right? I don't know. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And if you are going for this Titan event taking place, just, uh, you know, don't burn yourself out too much. All right. It's, it's a lot. Having two back-to-back -back fusions is a lot. So that, that's why I typically always skip the second. Because um, the Titan events do take place like after the fusions. That's kind of how it is normally, right? But um, I just I just wouldn't like, you know, burn yourself out completely just trying to go for this. Even though it is worth it, I would say. It is definitely worth it because he is a really strong champion. But yeah, just for those of you that are like low spenders or free to play, just take it easy is, is what I'll say. Just play the game. Get as much as you can like along the way and collect these, right? Don't try to like burn out completely unless you really, really want to. That's up to you. But I'm just going to casually get to this two star and, you know, that's it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe. Drop a like on this video. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you are going to be taking it very casual for the Titan event. And just like I said, just taking it easy and collecting what you can along the way by playing. Or are you going to be going ham for the three star, four star, five star for this Titan event? So let me know down below and I'll see you all in the next video.